Pandora is rich in one natural resource, raving lunatics. I have long sought to discover what makes them tick, but all too often it ends up being a bomb they have eaten. This time, however, I have found the ideal specimen who won't explode. For this experiment to work, we will need to travel to a psychically neutral area of space. I have marked one on the galaxy map. Bring Sanctuary there, and we can begin. I've seen a lot of fancy tech in my day, but sending me into some lad's brain? Not buying it. Please don't hurt yourself trying to understand. Any sufficiently <laughs> advanced technology is indistinguishable from impossible nonsense. On you go. Psycho. Usually something rusty and sharp. But what about their thoughts? Their memories? Their dreams? I have studied the psychos of Pandora for decades, and I believe they all share something in common. A single idea so powerful that it breaks any mind that contains it. I call it Valhalla. This is Krieg. He's a Crimson Raider, a friend, and most importantly for today, a psycho. Say hello, Krieg. Maggots wriggling down into the fester! Communication is not his strong suit, but yours wouldn't be either if your mind looked like his. As such, in order to get answers, we must seek them out ourselves. What is the origin of a psycho? What lies within Valhalla? We are about to find out. Entirely sure what I'm looking at. Hey, right, Tannis, I'm thinking this might not be the right place. I doubt I made a mistake. I do not usually do that. Why? What are you seeing? <laughs> War for the little flies who fester in the crowd. I, I, uh, don't worry about it, Hannes. Looks like this is it. Wonderful. Never question me again. Now, see if you can make contact with Krieg's inner consciousness. Must find Valhalla. <laughs> Ah! <laughs> 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 
I don't know who you are, but you're not gonna survive my friend here's welcoming party. But I've got a place we can talk. Come on in. I'm just on the other side. But back and forth cutting where the gut wore thin. Sorry about all that. The madman pretty much runs everything these days. The rest of the place is pretty messed up, but he leaves me alone here, so you're safe for now. Welcome to my home, I guess. I'm not, uh, really used to having guests around here. Who are you? Hey there, I'm Zane. And if you're not Krieg, who are you? Well, I'm also Krieg. At least, I'm the part that remembers how to be more than a screaming murder machine. How did you even get in here? Oh, that Tannis lass sent me in here to sort out what makes you psycho so kooky. She called it Vault Halla. Tannis, huh? Should have guessed. As for what makes the madman mad, I've wondered that myself. But I don't think he wants me to know. See that? If your so called Vault Halla is anywhere, that's where it'll be. He's kept me out of there for as long as I can remember. Maybe you can sneak in, though. Worth a shot. Salami, I'm a palindrome! Easy, man. They're just looking around. Slice you through the ears! Yeah, yeah, we've got it, you drama queen. Uh, what I wouldn't give to be rid of this guy. You're my own saucy amputation! Good, we're on the same page. Maybe I'll just leave with the Vault Hunter. Can't guarantee I can make that happen for you, Boyle. Think about it. If Tannis can get you in here, she can probably get me out, right? Maybe put me in, like, a robot body? That'd be cool. At this point, though, as long as I don't have to deal with this guy anymore, I'd settle for being a lump in a mayonnaise jar. I suppose. Hey, Tannis, is that a thing we can do? Oh, absolutely. You can store a human mind on a memory card the size of a postage stamp. I have a drawer full. But, as requested, I will track down a mayonnaise jar. Hey, you hear that, man? All you gotta do is open up the door to Vault Hollow for our guest, and then you get what you've always wanted. Me out of here. For good. Cut the chain link to razor ribbons. Let's dance the blades. Sounds like he's just as excited to be rid of me as I am to leave. All right, man. Where are the keys? Ruins astray! What do you mean you lost them? Of course. Look who I'm talking to. Polish the chalice! Shine a spittoon! Make mirrors of monsters! Okay. He's saying we gotta go through his... my... our brain, and find the parts of this statue. We need a buzz axe, a gauntlet, and a mask. <laughs> the screaming can opener! Another day, another orb. Now what do I do with it? Chase the meaty man! Terror awaits them when you follow! Give the baby its milk bone! Huh. That's an old memory through there. Or at least, it was before this guy had his way with it. Hope you're up for some weird stuff, Vault Hunter. <laughs> Alright, man. What's first on this little scavenger hunt of yours? The judge's gavel! You heard him. The statue's buzz axe is in there somewhere. Let's go get it. sent us on a mission to assault a COV stronghold. Listen, you're probably in for a pretty violent ride here. You should gear up. There's a chest over there. Check it out. Starving for the butcher's call! <laughs> He's excited to get that buzz axe. Tannis! Just wondering, is this loot gonna work outside this crazy boy's noggin? Oh yes, 
they will remain perfectly functional, so long as you constantly concentrate on unbelieving in their non-impermanent anti-existence, naturally. In fact, considering the Psycho's fixation on war, I would expect Vault Halla to be brimming with all sorts of weaponry. Something to look forward to. Well, guess we'd better get to it. Go on, no point in turning back now. Let's find that buzz axe. Calamitous slaughter! Well, this looks like a nice place to spend an afternoon. Okay, this is exactly what I was talking about. You are the worst. You're letting our mind go to shambles. Look at this place, it's a mess. Butchery for juicy weasels! <laughs> you and I have very different ideas of fun, man. Oh, rip the organs from their flesh pockets! Okay, he's really excited to start looking for that buzz axe. Let him know when you're ready to go. Flesh horn! The flesh horn must blow! Oh, sure, sure, sure! The flesh horn! Why didn't I think of that? Really, man? Blow the flesh horn? You do know how that sounds, don't you? Ah! Lilith sent the Crimson Raiders on a number of missions, but I do not recall them being so neat centric. Alas, such is the fleeting nature of memory. Did you know that our minds reconstruct our memories each time we recall them? Much like children playing Echo Road, whispering messages into each other's ears, the memory distorts itself with every recollection. Seems the mind of a psycho amplifies that distortion to the nth degree. On the house! I'm on fire! Fingers getting tired over here. Ah. 
I deserve this.
Tin wheel, fishbowl, tarp. Am I doing it right? Remember now, we used the COV's own weapons against them to breach the fortress gate. Find the catapults, Vault Hunter. I'm not sure why this mission is important to him. I guess it was the first time we'd fought with the Crimson Raiders in a while, but otherwise, it was pretty uneventful. I suppose you will have to play along in order to achieve our goals. Then again, I do not imagine that slaughtering yet more children of the vault will pose a problem, you mouth-watering force of nature, you. Maurice has been giving me morale-building lessons. I hope I am doing it right. Looks like we have to spin this baby around. All right then. Fire at will, Vault Hunter. Pointed darts upon the score! Doom! Whiz! Bang! <laughs> More dredging for the clank damn stone! That gate's gonna need another shot before it falls. to reclassify you as a scab. Ah! <laughs> he said you're a scab, dog! This obviously isn't real. Don't start a fight. I am the crusher of whipcrack lacerations! <laughs> Can this indubitable barbarian even procure language? <laughs> yeah! Learn to talk, dumbass! Let us 
bludgeon him. Ubiquitous.
Telling you, they're our friends, okay? Come on, we need that buzz axe. Well, look at this sleepy asshole. Wait, this might work perfectly. Let's just launch this corrosive oaf at the gate. No! The coroner wants the full stock! Gargantuan! He needs to be bigger, huh? I guess we can feed him. Uh, see if you guys can find some skags nearby. These guys will eat anything. Creek seems to have internalized his fears of being rejected by his fellow Crimson Raiders. I can relate to that myself. I often suspect that people are intimidated by my superior intellect. But I content myself with the fact that I simply do not care. Keep an eye out for one of my probes. The repeating brainwave pattern is nearby.
on back. Okay, not quite sure, uh, maybe if I went... Hmm. Flesh raw for the gaping maw! Sure, sure! Just in the neck hole, got it. Thought that might wake him up. Ah, wreckage! No, not yet. I think we can do a little more damage with this one. Blast rods for the Zed Men! I was just thinking the same thing. Let's find some dynamite. <laughs> yeah, that'll work. Wow! Castrate the sheep! Well, down the hatch. Or in the hatch, anyway. Man, this guy can sleep through anything. Like it's gonna be a three catapult day. Uh, <laughs> Pull doom from the pin flecked high rise. Dude, you can't shoot down the moon. Crack the shell with a hard place. Okay, you heard the man. Shoot down the moon. I did actually shoot down the moon once. See, I was working for. Oh, he's gone. A baby's hand. Okay, I can admit when I was wrong. Go pick up the moon. Well, this is just beyond the pale. Get it? Because the moon is... No, you know what? If you do not get it, you do not deserve to get it. Now please, carry on. Get to that last catapult.
happy to see you. Go on, get the catapult ready. Aim it and crank it. Now crank! <laughs> Funny word. I guess we load it up with the moon. Ah, the night comes! Do it. Can't ah, touch your bloody gears! Ready to storm a meat castle, boy? Good. The sooner we get that buzz axe, the sooner I can get out of this madhouse. I didn't realize how bad it's gotten around here. He's really twisted things up. Rick and Mordecai are our friends. Cry alone, little monkey! He assumes the worst in people. Maybe it's easier to think everyone's an enemy than accept that we actually have friends. Sapphire Starlight. Okay, fair point. I guess you do make an exception for her. You're still alive. I was hoping you'd be rotting by now, but you even screwed that up. Who comes to spit thorns? God. Never send an animal to do a human's work. Your 
Just a weapon to be thrown away, Krieg. Too dangerous to be around real people. This isn't how she spoke to us. Ugh, not a boom! An endless blade! You're a beast we let off the leash when we need to destroy something. None of us care if you ever come home again. I sent you away to die, but I guess I have to put you down myself.
out. What sharp thing is next? Come on, it's in here. I know it's easy to think they hate us, but you remember what really happened after that mission, right? Clotted gutters! Here, I'll show you. Oh, Cree, there you are. Come on, we're headed to Moxie's. Next round's on me. Yeah! You ain't gonna wanna miss this. Me and Mr. Targ are gonna arm wrestle. Last time, we broke the tape. <laughs> I got 20 on brick. You want some of that action, buddy? I wanted to say thank you, to let them know they'd made me feel at home, and I'd never be able to repay them for that. But what I said was... Straight through the anus! <laughs> Hell yeah! I love this guy! <laughs> yeah, classic Krieg. Hope we see you there, Krieg. You remember now? They see more than the bloodshed. They see who we really are. Fragile things. Good. We got what we needed. Let's head back. Go on and give the buzz axe back to the statue. Ah! Splitter for the gargantuan! <laughs> one step closer to Vault Hala, one step closer to freedom. What's next, the gauntlet? And what fresh madness are we gonna have to survive to find it? More! More soon, gut! Thank <laughs> you. 